guys, Mike Irwin here. Uh, I've got a quick tutorial for you that uh, was a request from a viewer who wanted to know how do you automate fades in Logic Pro. And um, there's different techniques you can use for different levels of fading. The three levels I'm going to talk about are uh, fading at the project level, fading at the per track level, and fading down to the individual clip level. Um, I'll just jump right in and start off with the per project level. This would be where you want, you know, an entire song to fade out at the end or fade in in the beginning. Um, this is a project I've, I'm working on. I just started to work on it. It's kind of a skeleton idea right now. Very much in its infancy, but it's what I'm working on now, so it's what I'll use for this. And um, right here I've got this, this loop section. So let's just pretend this is a finished song and I want to take this section and fade it out. Turn off the loop. And um, let me pull up the mixer to show you kind of why I'm going to do this. So if you go all the way to the end of our mixer here, we've got our, our final output here. And that the whole song goes through that. So um, now what you could do right off the bat is you could automate this fader on the master output and that would pretty much do it. That's not what I recommend and the reason why is because you know when you're working on a project you've got your mix here all these faders at relative volume from one another and you know you're you're gonna aim for a certain amount of headroom in your mix toward the end when you create your output file uh, like say negative 6 DB which is a very reasonable range um, for for exporting to you know pre-master and as you're going to be adjusting your mix, you're going to be, you know, altering that level of, of headroom. So you may want to bump your output up a little more as you further mix your your volumes on your tracks, or you might want to take it down a little bit as you might be increasing other individual tracks. And so for that reason, you want to be able to fade the song independent of where the output volume slider is at any given moment. And the way I'm going to do that is with a really handy plugin in Logic and a very simple plugin called Gain. And I use it all the time for this. Um, again, so that I can adjust my, my faders and, and have those track or, or song fades uh, be independent of where they are. Now first off, because this is going to be the entire mix, you got to do this one a little bit differently than you would with a per track. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a track for the master output that we can automate on and, and that allows us to view our automation you know, in the timeline of the song. So right click here on, you know, first select the channel by clicking on it, turning it light gray. Right click and go to create track. Now you'll see what that's done is it's created a track in the song for our master output. We'll get rid of the mixer now and go highlight this track and go over to the effects bin on it and it's under utility throw down gain again very simple plug-in just you know it's pretty self-explanatory um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the automation mode in logic automation's already armed for this track and we're going to be able to see gain because we've added it and we're going to be automating gain pretty simple so um, this section here, and we can get rid of the, well, I'll just, I won't get rid of it, I'll put it over here. Now you can see our line here, that represents gain. And if you move the slider, you can see the line moving up and down. I'll set that back to zero. Okay, so first off, let's just say we're going to take the tail into this section and uh, start to fade it out. We double click on this line to add a node right at 0 dB. Now it's important to mention that whenever this slider here for gain is at 0 dB, um, you've effectively not changed the volume level of your song at all. Um, it's, it's going to stay relative to where you have that that output slider set on your, on your mixer. And right here, I'm going to double click to add another node and just take it down that you know, somewhere down negative 60 ought to be pretty darn close to silent. So let's hit play. And you can 
see our slider moving down and the song is very much fading out. once you've done that maybe a straight line isn't the kind of fade you'd like you can go up here and do the uh, automation curve tool and when you get that you can grab this line and start to kind of tweak with it move the mouse around you'll get the feel for it and you know maybe something like that is a more natural you know curve to fade out with So see, that's kind of a more natural song fade out that you're used to hearing. Anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and remove that automation. And I'll do that by going up here and getting my pointer tool again and double clicking on each node to make them disappear. And now the line's back to normal. I can even turn aut automation off for that track. and. I can even get rid of that track and I really haven't affected anything because I've still got an output here in my mixer left unchanged. So the next thing that we can talk about is to fade an entire track. Um, as you can see I've got in the beginning of this song I've got some pad sounds here and I can play you a little bit of that to show you what it sounds like. Okay, so, and as you can see right above it is another pad sound that does already have a very long fade going across the, the clip, but if you look at this one, I've actually got two sections, two audio clips stuck together that have a crossfade between them uh, to help blend them seamlessly together into one sound and smooth the transition. So if I decided I wanted to uh, fade this track in, I wouldn't necessarily go for a long clip fade like that. Um, I would, again, use the same technique we used on the main outputs uh, and go ahead and, and drop another uh, effect in the effects bin here um, under utility, the same one, gain. And we can do the exact same thing. And I've already demonstrated that on the main output, so I don't have to do it here, but you see that's why you might want to use that on a on a track basis as well uh, for fade ins or outs because you may have some audio work that already includes some clip fades and you may not want to mess up those and, and fade the whole thing in or out as a whole so that's kind of a nice way to um, put in another layer of of gain reduction or increase um, again main goal being without upsetting the position in other words it's independent of the position of your fader because you may decide at some point later that uh, you want that track to be lower or higher in volume um, as you're mixing and you don't want to have to you know, be constantly going into your automation mode and adjusting little uh, nodes of automation every time you just want to see how something sounds a little louder. So um, down to the third and final level of, uh, of clip fading. And I think probably a lot of people know how to do this, so this will be really quick, but I thought I should definitely include it since I was going over fades. Um, if you see this section here, like uh, again, this long pad sound is still fading in from the background. I've got another sort of little a uh, couple of chord sound here that, that fade in as well. so you can tell what they sound like. It's 
just some little chord effects in there but um, the way you do that is and I'll just go ahead and remove this fade by right clicking on the faded area and, and going to remove and I will zoom in a little bit more make it big okay so very simple you want to fade in put your cursor on this upper left corner until it looks like that drag across and that's just going to be a straight linear fade you want to add a little bit of a curve to it hold your cursor in the middle until you get that side to side arrow look click and drag you can make that you can make that depending on your taste or how you want the fade and again to fade out same thing cursor in that corner drag that way and adjust to taste so that's pretty much it for fading and uh, you know hopefully that was helpful and hopefully I covered something that you got something out of anyway I appreciate you stopping by check out my Facebook links send me comments below tell me if you like them hate them subscribe there will be more later and again this one was upon request from a viewer uh, I always appreciate the comments uh, the feedback uh, any question you guys have please drop them below the videos and uh, you know um, let me know what you want to see and I will uh, you know try to throw something together from time to time uh, as always thanks for stopping by